I'm here with Sebastian Nash, King Living's textile and rug specialist. We're here today to talk about the new rug collection, which is inspired by our diverse Australian landscapes, landmarks and places. Sebastian will take us through the collection, the design process and the journey of inspiration. Sebastian, it is a really diverse winter rug range. Talk me through the inspiration. When designing this collection, I was really looking at Australian lifestyle and with strong references to the landscape. We've used lots of natural fibres or virgin fibres, so New Zealand wool or PET, which is a recycled plastic. I was also looking at the handmade qualities of the rugs and the weaving techniques. So we were using hand knotted, hand woven, hand loomed. That gives a sort of a generational piece. With that hand feel, you get those sort of like lovely, what some people would say was a mistake, and that's the beauty of the rug. So tell me about the design process. What's the starting point for you when you're designing a rug? So I start with sourcing sampling, taking them back to the studio, looking at them and working out how we can make something either a little bit different or actually redesigning the product, but working within the actual yarn or the weaving type. Sebastian, let's talk about the individual rugs. I, I've had my hand on this one all the time we've been talking. It feels amazing. What is this one? This one is called Gambit Check. It's a very simple check design. However, with this sort of semi shag pile effect, it really brings it to life. It has real strong references almost to the 70s. Sebastian, that is really beautiful. So with the Antipodes rug, it's a hand loom. The craftsman comes and then cuts this design through. And we've also done this really rough scissoring on the top. And you almost get this strie effect and a very, very natural, organic feel. It's absolutely stunning. It's got an almost three-dimensional effect here. So I can see from your beautiful drawing, this is called Tula. Yes, yeah, so Tula is a little township on the base of Cradle Mountain in Tasmania you know, clouds, water, rock formations, and uh, tying that into a rug that also can work in multiple directions. You don't want all rugs to be sort of one directional. You, you should be able to move them around so you can uh, get different patterning from different angles, and it looks correct. But it is a beautiful bedroom rug, perhaps. Absolutely, It's yes. got that sort of softness, that romantic, dreamy quality about it, which I love. What have we got here? A nice flat weave. And what I like about this particular rug is essentially it's that all rounder rug that can go into beach houses, casual living spaces, or dare I say it, the Hamptons look. And what's the name of this one? This one's called Bundina. As you say, this will work with such a diverse range of interiors. Billpin is a flat weave, and here you really see the hand dyed effect. You can see that wonderful strie effect, which is a, like a striping where the dye goes through the whole length of the yarn and you get those different colors coming through. I mean, not only is Billpin visually stunning, but it just feels so tactile. I imagine this is gonna be such an astonishing rug underfoot. Absolutely, and I particularly love the um, rustic feel of it. And you can imagine against, you know, really slick furniture and having this rustic foundation to the room will look beautiful. Sebastian, I find people are often concerned about what size of rug they should choose. What would your advice be? I would say essentially the bigger the better. You really want your furniture to sit on the rug or at least the front legs. A centre small rug always looks a little bit mean and unfinished. I completely agree. You and I are both on the same page. You say the bigger the better. I always <laughs> say if in doubt oversize. <laughs> We're speaking as one there. You're probably not allowed to have a favourite, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Do you have a favourite? Um, depends on the day. At the moment, I'm going to have to say a gambit check. I just love that it's fun, classic, but with a, that sort of funky twist and, I, and sits sort of outside of the collection almost because it is taking it to the next stage. Sebastian, it is a truly beautiful winter rug range. Thank you. So thank you for those insights.